Good morning, Diesel. It's day two of our trip to the mountains. We should get there, at least to the base of the Rocky Mountains. Uh, tonight, we have 13 hours available to us to drive. So we're in Balgoni, Saskatchewan right now. Balgoni, Baloney. And we got to go all the way over to uh, Langley, BC. And that's about 18 hours of just good driving from here. But you know that once we hit the mountains, it's not exactly going to be good driving. So I'll say about 20 hours of driving. Here in Canada, I can drive 13 hours a day. I have 26 hours available to me to get there because I have to be there in two days because 7 a.m. Thursday is my delivery appointment. And it's a very strict delivery appointment. I cannot be late. So that's why I left a little early so that I can get there early. Just in case, because uh, I heard that this last weekend out in the Rocky Mountains, they got over a meter of snow. That's over three feet of snow. Just dumped on them, like in one day or something. So hopefully by the time we get there tonight, and as we drive through there tomorrow, they'll have that mess all cleaned up for us. So just at the Flying J here, I'm gonna run inside, grab a coffee, and make myself some breakfast in the truck here. And we're gonna get our button gear. And we're gonna get as far as we can on our 13 hours today. Today is going to be a long, long day. Let's see how far we can get. So 1,717 kilometers, that's just over 1,000 miles. It's about 1,000 mi 1,060 miles, approximately. And I wanna get there tomorrow night. I want a shorter day for tomorrow, so I'm really hoping I can do uh, more than half of it today. It'll be a long day, that's why I got a good sleep here. I actually stayed here uh, a little longer than I wanted to, because I let myself sleep in, I let myself sleep and get completely good and rested, because today's gonna be a long day. Have I said that yet? Just pulling on to Trans Canada westbound here. I mean, it's a foggy day. The camera's not really doing that justice, it's not really showing it that well, but got about I'd say a mile and a half visibility so it's not like it's that bad or anything to worry about but just a tad bit twist, twisty kilometers on one. <laughs> just a tad bit misty not twisty we don't know if it's gonna be twisty yet I hope not I don't know what that would mean but it's a tad bit misty outside today temperature outside this morning here near Regina, Saskatchewan is minus 6 degrees Celsius. It's 21 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not too bad. The weather's actually been really good for this time of year. This time of year is usually our cold snap. This is usually when we go deep into the deep freeze of winter, but we had that in December already, so that's awesome. So now it's a nice little mild January for us. I'm guessing February is going to come around and just smack us in the face, but we'll pursue that. We got March, April, downhill all the way into spring and into summer.
West, as some might call it. Oil country. Just gotta go over their scale here, just entering the province. They wanna see who I am and what I'm doing here and how fat I am. Wanna look at my plates and all my stickers. Take a look at my load securement. Let's see what they have to say. trailer over it yet see what they say slow ahead slow ahead They're not telling me to park good then I'm getting out of here I guess when I stopped at the rest area coming into Alberta there this house kept going and got past me again it's now here in Medicine Hat Alberta <laughs> Squeezing his way through town. Didn't we pass this guy in Saskatchewan already and now he's all the way out here in Alberta? Wonder where he's going with that thing. Wonder how far they deliver those houses. Like how how far would you take a house? How far do you have to go before it's just cheaper to build it where you want it? Right? I mean, it can't be cheap to transport these houses. It can't be cheap. There's permits involved, you gotta pay the driver, you gotta pay two escort vehicles, all the fuel in the escort vehicles and the truck. The equipment, everyone wants to make a profit off of it. And yet it's still cheap enough to do it this way. They'd rather do it like this than build it right where they want it, right? So. Wonder how far they actually will deliver before it's not worth it. He's taking up the whole road. That would be so much fun. It's the boss right there. He owns the road. No one can get around him. We all go whatever speed he wants to go. So we'll go down into the valley here, come up the hill on the other side, and we'll be in Redcliffe. I'm going to stop in Redcliffe for Timmy's and Fuel. I believe they have a Flying J card lock on, on that side of the valley. Oh, he's turning off. Apparently they're delivering that into Redcliffe here somewhere. Or taking a break. If they're taking a break, I don't know where they're going. They're out of our hair now anyway. All right, here we go. Our fancy pilot flying J here in Redcliffe, Alberta. Get ourselves some fuel and let's head towards the Rockies. We just gotta go around Calgary yet, which is about three hours away, I think. And we'll be in the foothills. You can see past my wiper there. Check out this unit. Yikes, I wonder what you haul with this thing. He needs a, a chase vehicle just for the empty trailer. Not even hauling anything. Sorry, my wiper is very inconveniently in the way there. Interesting, that'd be fun. I know you can't see him. But we're surrounded by Rocky Mountains right now. We're just entering Banff, whoa, bumpy. Banff National Park. What's with my wipers always in the way? Banff National Park. Look at all those Christmas lights there, that's nice. So this is still in Alberta, but we're in the western part of Alberta right now. Uh, very soon, we'll be in British Columbia. Banff is a beautiful place in Canada to come visit. If you're ever planning a visit to Western Canada, to the coast, don't forget to stop in Banff. Google it, it's actually pretty nice. The Snake Pit. Golden, British Columbia. Some of the tightest turns and the most dangerous roads in Canada. Off to the left, a cliff that drops straight down several hundred feet to certain death.
the snake pit at night, Golden BC. You couldn't see it in the dark there, but uh, certain death awaited us over the massive cliff to our left there. It's always fun going through there, especially at night. Traffic seemed to pick up, of course, when I went through there. I don't know why. Just my luck, I guess. We're gonna stay here in Golden for the night. Uh, I was gonna go up to Revelstoke, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh, the roads aren't exactly pristine. They're pretty slippery and uh, icy. It's snowing a little bit. So I don't think I'm gonna risk it. Uh, I only have an hour and a half left on my e-log here, and it's about an hour and a half to get there on in good conditions. So I think we're just gonna say forget it and just stay here in Golden. I'm 660 kilometers away from Langley here, which is about six hours of driving. What would that be, about 360 miles? Just guessing. So we're gonna see if we can find us some parking here in town. All right, our first attempt to find parking. Oh, hey, look, Boston Pizza. Man, it looks like they're closed already, though. Why would you be closed already? They close early here. Most Boston Pizzas are open to like 2 in the morning. Doesn't look like there's any room. Whoa, whoa, speed bumps. Jeez, you're going to kill somebody with those speed bumps. Husky, what are you doing? Yikes, massive speed bumps. Covered in snow, too. Yikes, they really don't want trucks speeding through the parking lot here. Guess I don't blame them. No room at the inn for us. Got the signature flag flying right there. Every Husky has a big massive Canada flag. Guess we'll have to go and find somewhere else to park. I don't think they even want that guy parking there, so we'll have to keep moving. Maybe we'll find a spot here somewhere. <laughs> 